So, S is for sign. But when we write, we want to write sin. And um, O is for opposite. And H is for hypotenuse. So with this triangle, right angle triangle here, is angle theta given. So opposite of the angle is we call opposite. So which is O, like which is labeled O, and the hypotenuse is the longer side, which is always opposite right angle. So we label H. So now side theta s is for sine so sine theta is equal to opposite which is all over h now with this triangle here we want to find out the um, value of x the, the side length and correct to one decimal place so we know that the angle 82 degrees is given so which is referred to an angle 80, 82 degrees so opposite of this angle 82 degrees we call opposite so just label all first and then 27 centimeters is the hypotenuse because it's longer side and opposite right angle as well so which is label we label h first so we write down so cartoa first and then we have o and h so which is o h so which is so so that's the the, the word we use so now s first thing we follow the order s or h so so s is the sign sign of what whatever the angle is in this case 82 degrees so size of 82 degrees is equal to o first o is x so which is x over h h is 27 so x over 27 now we we want we want to solve for x so we get rid of 27 by the opposite because x divided by 27 so we times 27 both sides so we time 27 on the right so we want to get rid of 27 and then we time 27 on the left of course so this cancel out so therefore x is equal to 27 size of 82 degrees now now I just put that in the calculator so side 2782 so make sure your calculator must be in, in degree mode so side of 27 sub 82 so let's go 27 side of 82 degrees there you go equal to so 26 degrees i mean sorry 26.73 and 72 and so on so the answer is this now because we want to round off to one decimal place so which is 26.7 but before we write 26.7 we look at the number after 7 first so which is 3 so less than 5 so therefore the answer is 26.7 centimeters now car c is for cost sign but when we write we only write cost so c is for cost a is adjacent h is the hypotenuse so with this triangle here angle theta is given so up at sorry adjacent which is next to the angle is this side there so we label a first a is mean adjacent adjacent mean next to because next to this angle theta so we call a which is label it and then uh, this side length here is the longer side so we we call hypotenuse it's always opposite right angle that's how you identify hypotenuse so we have a and h so it's car c for cost so therefore cost of whatever that angle is so we cost theta is equal a over h now find the value of x in this right angle triangle here correct to one decimal place so first of all we need to identify which trick ratio we use first now to do this we label each of the, um, the side length first so this one x is next to 70 t 73 degrees so we call we, we call adjacent right next to adjacent so we label a first and 56 centimeters is the longer side because it's opposite right angle so which is hypotenuse 
So now we have A and H. So so ka toa, so which is A and H, so we use the word ka. So therefore, ka, C is for cos. So now we write down cos of whatever angle that is. So in this case, the angle is 73 degrees. So we write cos of 73 degrees is equal to A. A is X in this case over h h is 56 so therefore x over 56 just remember for me the last letter is always down the bottom okay just follow that order so c is cost cost of 73 degrees is equal to x which is adjacent and over h which is 56 now i want to get rid of the 56 because x divided by 56 so i want to get rid of by time by 56. So I time 56 on the right, of course, I need to time 56 on the left as well. Now, 56 disappear on this side, so therefore x is live with 56 cos 73 degrees. Now, now all I do is I just put in calculator. So make sure again, make sure your calculator in degrees more, okay? If other, otherwise you get the wrong answer. So you have 56 cos of 73 degrees, which is close bracket, or you can put degree on top, it's no harm, and close bracket. That's the answer. So which is this. Now, we want to correct to round off to one decimal place. So 56.3, that's where we stop. But before you write 50, um, sorry, 16.3. That's what I mean. So if you if you write 16.3, before you write that, you need to look at the number after 3 first. Now it's 7, so it's more than halfway. So therefore, is instead you write 16.3, it's actually 16.4. So therefore, x is 16.4 centimeters. Toi. So t is for tangent. Again, when we write, we only need to write 10. And um, O is opposite, of course, and A is adjacent. Now, with this triangle here, so we label the side length, so by referring to the angle theta. So next to this angle theta is A. We label A. And then um, this side length here is opposite the angle theta, so we label O. So now we have A and also O. So O A, so it's 12. So 12 means 10. So 10 of angle theta is equal to O over A. So O over A, that's the 10 of the angle. Now, this, this one here, and this is triangle here. So we need to find out the um, what the length, side length of x correct to one decimal place. So step number one, we need to find out what um, trigonometry ratio to you first. To do that, we need to find out um, where, which which one opposite adjacent hypotenuse and so on. So this side length here is next to this angle given, always referring to the angle. So which is next to, so adjacent, so we label A. And then the X, the silent X, that's what we need to find out, is opposite of the angle given, so which is O, so opposite. So we have O and A, so therefore is Toa, so we use Toa. So now T is then for 10, so 10 of whatever that angle is, in this case is 32 degrees, and 34 minutes is equal to O, O is X, follow the order, O first, then A, O is X, so which is X over A, A is 36, so therefore X over 36. Now, because it's, we're solving for X, X divided by 36, so we will need to get rid of the, get rid of the 36, so we time 36 both sides. So time 36 on the right, because we want, to want to get, we want to get rid of the 36. So therefore, I need to time 36 on the left as well. So this 36 is gone. So now, x is equal to 36, 10, 32 degree, and 34 minutes. So now, all I need to do 
I just put this into calculator. So 36 10 of 32 degrees. My shoe press the bubble, bu bubble button and then 34 minutes. Now, you must also press the bubble again. Okay, degree minutes. If you don't, let's say if I forget and I press equal, what happens? See, it says syntax error. That means I haven't finished um, with uh, put everything in. So I have to press, I have to put the de degree and minutes. So close bracket. So that's the answer. So 22.9934 and so on. So the answer is this. Then to round to one decimal place, because it's 22.9934 and so on. So we just write up to 22.9. But again, before you write that, of course, we need to look at the number after the 9. So because it's 9 is more than halfway, you add to it. So 9 plus 1 is 10. So it's the answer is x equals 23.0 centimeters. Thank you so much for watching.